Finally, after my long, long wait, I get to see <laughs> the next episode of Slime. I know that most of you had to wait two weeks, but I finished uh, the series on, I think, Sunday. So it, I, I had to wait like three days to actually see this, uh, which is great. But now, after this episode, I'm going to have to wait another week. Yay! I don't really mind though because this is the kind of anime that you look forward to and you remember things even if you have to wait a while. Yes, it's also the kind of anime that you can binge watch because it's not too deep. So you don't have to let everything that happens sink in before moving on to the next episode. But it can be enjoyed either way. In the last episode, Rimuru was about to defeat the Orc Lord. Yes, I said defeat and not just fight because we all know it's gonna happen. The fun part is watching how it's gonna happen. So, without further ado, let's watch the episode. The one who devours all. Immediately, I'm thinking, immediately, I'm thinking, he says. He's been giving so many names so that a new demon lord can be born to obey him. So doesn't that mean that Rimuru is giving out a lot of names? Doesn't that mean he's gonna get a demon lord born for him? crazy I mean he was already evil but now he's just batshit crazy magic anime they use punches because he doesn't need to Oh my 
Oh wow. He did exactly what he wanted, but he killed him to do it. I wonder if Demon Lord is the highest cost you can go. Oh, 
So he was the king, so he could already regenerate. devoured like your sins are washed away like I've never understood that until today I still don't believe I'm still not religious I'm just saying I get what they are getting at now Wow what a what an amazing anime rest in peace That was amazing. Oh, I'm so sad that they have to they had to live in starvation for so long. But he still had to like he still had to die. But after you're dead, you know you can't be held accountable for your sins anymore because you're dead. And even even his brethren offered up I like that they put that part there where he said like eat me like they offered up their lives for their king 10 out of 10 that's what this episode was absolutely nothing nothing i can say to contribute anything new to the greatness that is this episode i was amazed and this is a beautiful explanation of, or not explanation, but a beautiful example of sometimes, you know, you know, in some anime, you know that the good guys are going to win. In most movies, you know, the good guys are going to win. But it's still worth watching. It's, it's still so, so worth watching. Just my my claps, standing ovation, standing motherfucking ovation. I have the same color almost as my pillow. I just feel like I want to cuddle up in a ball. Fuck off with your my my bun isn't very cute today, but anyway, I just felt like I could like curl up in a ball and like cry. Like you can feel sorry, you can feel sorry for him, but that doesn't take away everything that he did. And that's why I love Rimuru's speech um, at the end, like, he was firm. 
He was firm but kind. You will still die, you will still be eaten, I will still win. But I will devour your sins with me. I will devour he gave him peace before he died. But he was he was never oh it's okay, you went through all this hard stuff, so I understand like he was never he was he was firm and direct and Adimura is a great, great, great leader and it's, I'm, I can't wait until, remember the Dwarf King? Gazelle Duargo. He's also, he looks like a good leader. I'm looking forward, <clears throat> I'm looking forward to when they're going to have a moment to get to know each other. Yeah. But um, the part that made me interesting, um, the part that was interesting to me was when that, that Gelmut said how he's been naming them all to sow seeds so that a demon lord can be born, to be used. He became a demon lord, but he killed that guy. So a demon lord doesn't necessarily have to be uh, doesn't have to follow you or, or serve you unless it wants to. So, and that's another um, amazing, like, Rimuru is naming all of these monsters, and and it's, and there was one part where I thought maybe that gives him a sense of loyalty to you, but this is another example of how those monsters still have free will. They don't have to serve the one that names them or whatever. And I'm pretty sure that if it, all you need to do is name a lot of monsters and a demon lord will be born. I'm thinking that a demon lord will be born for Rimuru because he's been naming monsters left, right and center. Like, interesting, interesting. So yeah, I was... Uh, in a sense, I was right. I did say that uh, that na the the geld that was named by Gelmut was the orc lord, and they want to to take over. But I my reason was that maybe they wanted them to defeat each other. But it was more than that. It was he wanted the orc lord to devour them and become stronger and stronger to become the demon lord. So I, I had some right parts and some wrong parts. Um, and now all that's left is to find out who was this he that was pulling all the strings. So yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Thank you guys for watching this with me. Uh, I'll see you next week. If you do want early access to all my videos, 24 hours early access to get the videos before anyone else so that you can watch them and comment on them first. Uh, yeah, you can just check out my Patreon and there are some other rewards as well. So thank you guys and have an awesome week.